Brian Dolesky with Able Distributors. Today we have a new product, the BuffMax Buffer Tank. And if you're one of those guys that don't know exactly what a buffer tank is or what it does or why you need it, stick around because that's what we're going to discuss. So we're bringing in the BuffMax Buffer Tanks in two sizes, 30 and 50 gallon. And what it is, is a place where we can store water we're going to give it a little bit of a swing on temperature, so we'll either have an aquastat or a sensor in the provided well. And we can use it if there's a super small zone. So if you had a 200,000 BTU boiler, and we sell high-end boilers, and they have an amazing turndown ratio, but even at a 10 to 1 turndown, that means conceptually the smallest zone you could have has to be at least 20,000 BTUs or higher for this boiler to operate correctly. Sometimes we just don't have the luxury of a zone that actually needs 20,000 BTUs. It could be a master bedroom, it could be a little area of mudroom, it could be a bathroom, something like that. You might only need 6,000 BTUs. What do you do with the extra BTUs? What do you do with all that energy? You're not moving enough water through that boiler, so now you've got to be concerned about that. And that boiler is trying to find some place to put that extra BTUs. It's got no place to go. Enter the buffer tank. So what it is, is basically a way to store energy, store hot water, use it as you need, and then the boiler replenishes it. So you've got your boiler on this side, it'll be pumping hot water in. There's a reason we always do the hot water on top. You get better air separation the hottest the water is. So when it comes right out of the boiler, up here is the hottest it is, there's your Calefi air separator, just makes sense. We do the cold water return on the bottom. Similar idea, when it comes in here, we get a pressure drop. So the water starts releasing some of the dirt and debris. There's a drain right at the bottom, a three quarter drain. So having the drain and the debris fall out from the bottom and the air bubbles come out from the top just makes sense. So from your boiler to the buffer tank, you're gonna have a pump. If it's the NTI TRX, it's got a bump, pump already built in. So if it's anything else, you're going to just pump in and pump back. So your boiler sits over here, and this makes sure that boiler is perfectly happy. It's got plenty of room to store energy. It's got plenty of water flow. It's not going to short cycle. Really makes the boiler end happy. Now on the system side, you're going to have a sensor well that you can either put a sensor in if you're going with an NTI boiler. We can actually see the exact temperature. Or you're going to do it just a simple aquastat and have a call for a zone. So for me, the way I would look at this would be if I have all low temperature zones off of this, I may have my aquastat store this water at 110 degrees. And it's not going to turn back on until it gets down to 90 degrees. So I got a 20 degree separation there. Because if one small zone calls, it'll start pulling the water away from here and sending it back into this storage tank. That boiler may not need to even fire. If it's a mild day, a super small zone, or it's just got a degree or two to make up, you may take water out of here, energy out of here, and the boiler might not fire right away. So having that separation of that temperature is, is key. Number two, if I had two temperatures, if I had a bunch of low temperature zones and maybe one or two high temp, I might take the high temp off by themselves before the buffer tank, maintain and pull everything low temperature off the buffer tank. So now it actually worked as a temperature differential between the two zone temperatures. So let's go through some of the, some of the peaks and the benefits of the, uh, the BuffMax buffer tank. So again, we've got it coming in in 30 and 50 gallon, and that's gonna be a BTU size of system uh, type of situation. Obviously, we have a lot of guys that wanna add a simple little zone, but it might be to an ice melt system. So they got a 700,000 BTU boiler there and they want to heat the garage. And that garage maybe needs 10,000 BTUs to heat it. A buffer tank would be perfect. So 30 and 50 gallon. The 30 gallon has inch and a half threaded connections, obviously in and out on each side. The 50 gallon, they're two inch connections. Pressure and temperature gauge, I like that. It tells you what's going on in the system and what's going on in that tank. So having one more diagnostic tool, it's always a good thing. Immersion well, we covered that for an aquastat or a sensor. 
I kind of like the idea of an aquastat, set it there, just treat it as any other zone, no demand, no, um, no need to do anything more complicated than just an aquastat. This is insulated well enough with two inches of insulation. This thing, once it's running and it's set the temperature, it'll lose about a half a degree per hour, which is pretty darn good, pretty efficient. Again, on that aquastat, we're gonna have a 15 to 20 degree spread so that we can actually pull off of this for a little while, bring the temperature down before the, the boiler fires up. It'll give more energy a uh, place to go. It's got a half inch auto air vents and that's where you, when you remove it, there's a little switch in there that plugs it off so you can rebuild it, clean it, replace it, whatever you have to do without worrying about the system. So that's up there. It's got a three quarter drain valve because Again, when you change the pressure in a system, debris and dirt tend to fall out and air falls out easier. So that's what's gonna happen here is you're gonna get some sediment on the bottom of this and you're definitely gonna be getting air out of the top. So what does this do? What are the functions of this buffer tank? And in a nutshell, it's a hydro separator. So it lets the boiler pump to here and have plenty of fluid running through it, it's all happy, and it separates the boiler from the system. Number two, it's a really good air separator because we know that if you take the hottest air, water at the top of the tank and you reduce the pressure a little bit, it allows that air to come out easier. So it's a great air separator. It's a buffer storage tank as we spoke. It's the multi-temp, again, I, I, would, I would use this all day long if I had situations where I had six low temp and two high temp. I would take the two high temp off before this. I would set this for whatever my low temp was going to be, maybe 110 degrees, and I would pull off of it from there. Dirt separation, we covered that, why we like the return to go off the bottom. And the small zone buffer, again, the idea is if you've got a boiler, we size the boiler to handle the whole house. We don't size it for each zone. We design, design it to, if every single zone in the house is calling at the same time, that's the size boiler you put in. But we know how it goes. That basement is gonna call more than anything else. So if that basement's in floor, it's a low temperature and it's a small little zone, and you in your mind think, wow, there's only three loops down there. I'm thinking we don't need a whole lot of BTUs but for the rest of the house, I need 200,000 BTUs or maybe more. This is a perfect situation to say, now I don't have to worry how small that zone gets. I don't care if a homeowner says, I'd like that bathroom on a zone, and I'd like just underneath my bathtub on a zone. You can go crazy with zones and still not worry about how many BTUs you're forcing that boiler to find a place to put. That's its job. Move water, heat it up, and send it someplace. If there's no place for that boiler to send it, sooner or later that boiler is going to throw a code because it's getting confused. It's like my job is to heat up water and I'm heating the water so fast that it's overheating inside my, my system. So a buffer tank will do just that. It will buffer what's going on with the system and buffer the boiler. And that's it. That's the reasons we brought this thing in. It's the Buff Max two sizes. It comes with a 10 year tank warranty and two years on the other parts. And I'm assuming the other parts would just be the gauge, the, uh, the air separator, and that's it. Pretty simple design. We're gonna do more on this. We're gonna have piping diagrams. We're gonna have suggested uses. So stay touched, we've got more to come. Thank you.